everyone. Good morning. So we have an impromptu vlog for us today, and we actually have a Japan haul vlog for us. And the main reason why is because I have just arrived from Japan. I actually went to Tokyo with my mom, and it was actually a last-minute kind of a trip because um, my mom actually wanted to, like you know, go to Japan to see the changing color of the autumn leaves. And I was the only one who had a, like you know. Uh, a visa that can allow me to enter at the last minute because I have a five-year multiple entry visa to Japan. Uh, so that's it. And I did enjoy spending some time with my mom. And I also did enjoy uh, going around Tokyo and being like you know, a tourist this time. Um, because even if I have been to Japan a number of times, Tokyo is not one of those cities that I usually visit when I go there. Because after all, I just go to like you know the Brush Festival, which is in Hiroshima. So it was actually nice to go around Tokyo at this time, like you know, doing the touristic stuff. And like you know, aside from buying some stuff, all that we did in Tokyo at this time was just eat. I'm sure you have, like you know, again, if you do follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me post a lot of food stuff, which is uh, very rare for me to do because I am not a foodie. But like you know, being in Japan and like you know, the food that they served there, they were just like you know, absolutely amazing. So yeah, so uh, I just want to share with you guys like uh, very quickly the things that I got when I was there. I didn't really buy a lot. Um, but you know, um, these are just like you know, the things that I was very interested uh, to try out. And like, you know, some of the things that I purchased um, for this trip uh, were actually some of the things that I like you know saw when I went to Tokyo in September, and I just didn't buy them. So when I went back right now, and then I saw them, I just decided, okay, like you know, I think this is the right time for me to purchase these things, and then you know, try them out. Okay, so. First things for that, by the way, I do have a combination here of brushes. I also have some makeup, um, skincare, and some perfume. So let's go through this um, stock of products. Okay, so let me just move the table here in front of me because it's just going to be much more easier for me to get the products and to show it to you guys here on like, you know, my phone. So first things first, let's start with like, you know, makeup products. Okay, so I am going to show you guys these. So these are the up um, eyelashes. So I only bought like you know four different types because I wanted to try them out for the first time. Now um, as you guys can see here, like they're like a set of two. Especially if you buy like you know a full band or a full strip of lashes, and I also have another here. So this is in number eight zero nine, and this is in number eight zero eight. Now the main difference of these two is that the lashes of the eight zero nine here um, is actually um, it also flares out a little bit on the side, but um, it's not as wispy as the eight zero eight here. So I'm going to try to see if I can put in like, you know, shots of like, you know, close up shots of the band so that you guys can see it. And I do love it because it just really helps to lift the eyes, especially if you're working with someone who has droopy eyelids or like, you know, who has heavy set eyes. So this is actually great just to help create a lift. Now, the other D up lashes that I got are like, you know, these individual looking ones. What? So there you go. And they're actually quite different. I thought they were the same, but um, which eyelashes is this? Okay, I think, okay, so here, this D up eyelashes here, this quick extension eyelashes here. Now, according to the instructions here at the back, you actually apply the individual lashes underneath your lashes because usually um, the like you know the these individual type of eyelashes that I purchase you um, actually apply this on top of the lashes so um, this one you apply this on top while this one you apply it below so I have not tried that process before so that was what like you know really got me very interested in trying this so this is the D up quick extension in 05 and this is the D up eyelashes quick extension ah, I don't know what's in my fingers today it's quite like you know wobbly anyway so we have here in zero one so I'm very excited to try this out as well all right next what we have here is a mascara remover and this is from heroin make and I think the producer of this is called kiss me now I have um 
mascaras from Heroin Make, which is actually great. And um, what really got me very interested with this is, is that um, I actually don't like using, like, you know, waterproof mascara on myself because they're very difficult to remove. And sometimes I find that they actually, like, you know, end up removing some of my lashes, especially when I really, like, you know, try to rub in the um, cleansing um, like you know foam or material into my eyelashes and I just don't like the breakage that goes on so I said to myself I think I should try this now I have seen this um, product before like maybe I don't know four or five years ago I had a student from Japan who actually used this to remove her mascara and I was very intrigued by it now I actually also saw this when I went to Japan back in September but I just don't know why I decided not to get it at that time and uh, I just said to myself right now yeah I think now is the time I now know why uh, the reason why I decided to get this is because I actually bought a waterproof uh, waterproof mascara uh, from another brand but I'm going to show you that uh, product a little bit later so again I'm very excited to try this as you guys can see all you have to do is just to apply the wand on your lash with the product and then it just like you know disintegrates the water uh, the waterproof formula from your uh, mascara. Now the other product that I decided to get when I was there is this Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline and this is actually um, their neutralizer. So it's 150 their neutralizer because I have not seen this here in the Philippines. And um, I know um, the Instant Age Rewind also has like, you know, some um, um, color correcting um, colors available in the market and uh, again I don't see them here or maybe I just don't visit the right um, like you know um, beauty counter when I am here in the Philippines so when I saw this uh, like you know this is like below on the shelf in one of the, the drug stores that I was like you know circulating in when I was in uh, Tokyo I just decided like you know okay now it's actually time to try this so um, yeah let me just try this right now if it's like you know going to add any help for us today and by the way pardon if I look like this I have not shaved yet as soon as I arrived from Japan I went straight to work and I like you know I actually don't like to present myself this way in my videos but I was just very excited to share with you guys all the stuff that I got that I said like you know uh, I'm sure you guys would understand and know by the way the skincare that I have on right now is from Shiseido I used the Ultimune um, serum last night and I have not washed my face yet. I just brush my teeth and I <laughs> do this video. And basically, this is how my skin looks. Like, you know, in the morning after I use the um, Shiseido Ultimune Serum. It's actually very nice. It's very dewy. And it gives us my skin a very nice hint of radiance. I actually love it. Okay, so let me digress. Let me just try this out. Okay, let me push the product some more because there's nothing coming out from the sponge. Okay, there you go. There's some product out now. And let me just... Okay, so that's a generous amount of product that I was not expecting to come out. Let me just use my fingers for this. Okay, so it's a very yellowy tone. Wow, that looks very, very, like, you know, high coverage type of a product. Also a little bit illuminating, but I think this will work if you have, like, you know, very, like, you know, blue or like you know purplish undertones in your eye it's also kind of like has a hint of brightness but i think i just added way too much product hang on let me get some tissue to remove this okay let me just dab a little bit of it okay i just have to be very light-handed with this in the future i also need to play around with this some more to see how well it's going to layer with other products but i do kind of like the brightening effect that it has given my under eye. It's a little bit too yellow, but I think the pinky tone of the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser would work better for me today because that would just add some brightness into my under eye. But the, this one is not so bad. I do kind of like it. Now that the product has kind of like sunk into my skin, but I just feel that it's a little bit too light because it didn't really, really remove like, you know, the puffiness, the, 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 the puffy nature of my under eye area. And it's kind of like emphasizing, like, you know, this part of my eye. But then again, I don't have the right lighting for us today. I have a lot of overhead lighting. So maybe that's the issue. So let's see a little bit later how well this will, like, you know, sink into my skin. 
Okay, next I have these Aven Cold Cream Lip Balms. Now, as I've said in my like you know Europe travel haul video back in like you know when I went there during the spring season, I actually purchased some Aven Cold Cream Lip Balms when I was in Paris, and I have to say I actually love those lip balms, and they're one of my like you know uh, most favorite lip balms to use on myself at this time, and I have actually been looking for them. And I was actually quite surprised that I found them at the drugstore in Tokyo. So I actually bought two, so I have some in stock with me. Because this lip balm, they, um, they don't, like, you know, make my f lips feel dry. Because there are some lip balms in the market that as soon as I apply it, and after a while, like, you know, when everything, like, you know, has evaporated from my lips, um, it kind of feels dry. And it doesn't, like, you know feel that it's nourishing my lips but with these event um, like you know cold cream lip balms they actually are very amazing they keep my lips in good condition especially in like you know very cold weather and I actually love the packaging of this like you know the way that they're just like you know very secure with each other so let me just open this hang on because for some strange reason if I use um, a lip balm that's petroleum based it 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 makes my lips feel very very dry and I don't actually like it so anyway so I do love the bullet design of these lip balms from a van and I actually love how there you go see can you I hope you heard that like you know it's actually very like the cap gets very secured into the like you know body of the lip balm which is actually perfect because if you keep this in your bag and then your bag just like you know um, it, it moves around and like you know more often than not you'd see like you know some of the caps from your lipsticks or your lip balms like you know have come off but with this one because it's very secure see it actually keeps itself in place in your bag and I actually love this I love this I love this I'm so glad that I found this okay so the other makeup stuff that I bought okay here we go let me still open it so by the way as you guys can see here um, if you purchase anything in Japan and you get it tax-free um, they actually wrap it in a plastic like this and you're actually not allowed to open it not until you actually leave the country okay now I actually went to uh, at Cosme in Harajuku and I got these two products so first i have the lash idol from lancome now yes i do have a lash idol from lancome here but this one was a volumizing while this one is actually whoa hang on okay so this one is actually the waterproof version of the lancome lash idol now i didn't have this before and um i actually was not um, I actually didn't know that they had a waterproof formula, not until I saw one from Michelle Wong's video. And I said, oh, if I would have known that there was a waterproof formula, I would have gotten that as well. But then again, as I've said, I'm not, I'm not into like, you know, mascaras that have waterproof formulas because I found them very difficult to remove. And speaking of that, um, this Lancome Lash Adore waterproof mascara is actually the reason why I decided to get this, um, waterproof mascara remover from heroin make because um, again like at least like, I am hoping that this product can just really help me to like you know minimize the cleaning process of waterproof mascaras from my eyelashes so I'm again very excited to try this I actually love the wands of the Lancome Lash Idol I love like you know this curvature here and um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the wand here has very small, like, you know, um, um, wands that can really get into, the, like, you know, the base of your eyelashes and really, like, you know, comb the product well into your, like, you know, lashes. So, um, again, I am very, very excited to try this out. Okay, now, the other thing that I bought when I was at Cosme in Harajuku is this Laneige Lip sleeping mask and i do have to say that tati westbrook made me buy this and um which is actually like you know um perfect for me to use at this time as you guys can see here it smells like strawberries it smells so amazing uh and the main reason why i decided to get this now is because like you know i'm working with three wonderful actors um right now and they do have dry skin and they have dry lips and i feel that this can be very helpful and just like you know retaining all of the moisture and helping me to remove all of like you know the dry skin from their lips and i'm gonna tell you guys 
uh, what my experience is with this um, like you know in a future video but I do love the scent of this though it reminds me of like you know this those lip balms from my childhood very nice smells yeah it's really smells amazing and the packaging so pretty too look at that so pretty okay so this is the odomine from shiseido now as you guys can see here um i am very i am not familiar with this product now and i don't think that this is the odomine that shiseido sells in their stores because those are their essences okay and this one doesn't look like an essence it looks very liquidy but um, the main reason why i decided to get this is because i was very attracted to the packaging of this this has a very like you know 80s packaging for the shishado odomine and um like you know i just actually saw this at the side like you know at the side of my eye when i was walking down the stairs of uh, like you know the drugstore and i when i saw it i go like why is this still being sold so i don't know if they're saying this for nostalgia and i just decided to get it because this retails only for 500 yen and they go like other oh, mean for 500 yen i don't think so but anyway so when i checked the label at the back i said i saw it here this was made in japan this was made by shishido so i just decided to get it because i just love the packaging of it now it was only actually when i got here and i did some research that i realized that this is called a removing lotion and um like, you know after reading some of the reviews for this product um it kind of like reminds like the process like the way that the people describe it on the reviews they kind of like use it as a toner of sorts and i found it very interesting so i also checked out the ingredients this for this so this has water this has glycerin so that's like you know really highly moisturizing and this also has citric acid in it which is a form of an aha so it kind of like is a toner if you know what i mean and i was kind of glad about that because um like you know as i've said like, you know, earlier in this video, I have been using some products from Shiseido. And I am actually using, like, you know, the Shiseido Ultimune. And before I actually use my Shiseido Ultimune, I actually use a toner, which is which has, like, you know, AHAs in it. And then I apply the Shiseido Ultimune on top of that. And because this, basically, to me, is like a toner, this is what I'm going to use um, in tandem with my Shiseido Ultimune, just to see how well they work together. But apparently, this product is very well reviewed and very well loved in Japan. And what people say on the on the reviews is like you know it leaves their skin very very soft, and they actually help to remove any like you know um, makeup products that was not removed when they actually cleansed um, their skin um, like you know prior to applying this. Hey Tanner, what's you doing, love? Okay so again look at that it's very pretty so it's still unopened so let's open them together ah so it has like a dropper of sorts so that's actually very interesting why wow, i just bumped my nose with the uh with the dropper here so as you guys can see at least we now know that this like you know dropper can really help you control it now although it looks pink in the bottle like, you know the product looks pink in the bottle when it like you know hits your skin it kind of like um adapts to the color of your skin tone will not add any color into your skin so if that's your concern because after all colors and skin cares has dyes in it and there are some people who like you know are allergic to dyes and by the way this is highly fragranced it smells of it has a very nice floral scent it has a rosy scent to it yeah because like you know as you see uh, there's a uh, in the packaging like you know in the sticker it has roses so i believe that's the scent that you smell here but it dissipates quite quickly after like you know it um after you spread it on your skin the scent kind of disappears and there's a very light scent that remains on your skin so yeah so I, when i was rubbing the product here on the back of my hand it acts like an essence like you know it has like you know some certain moisturizing elements to it but it's not tacky but I can actually feel it. It's actually quite moisturizing, mm. which is actually very interesting for me. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, so I can actually wait to try this out. And for sure, I'm going to use this in tandem with my Shiseido Ultimune Serum upstairs. So again, um, 
please hang around for that. Please subscribe because I'm going to be um, re uh, creating a review for my Shiseido Ultimune um, serums in the next few weeks because I think it's about time because I've been trying them out now for at least two months. So that's actually like, you know, perfect to give you my um, insights about that product and having this into and adding this into the mix um, can really, I think, be very beneficial. Okay, so this is the Shiseido Ultimune removing lotion okay, so what else did i pick up at the drugstore okay so ah uh, here this is the nonio um mouth spray so this is a different um flavor it's still mint though but it says here it's strong energy mint so again i just decided to try them out again i love the packaging of this i've talked about this product before in a previous video and i keep this in my bag that i use daily because if i just want to refresh my mouth it's very important i use this because it's very small, it's very handy, keeps well in my bag. Okay, so what else did I purchase? Of course, when you're in Japan, you always have to purchase uh, like, you know, candies and chocolate. So I have this Meiji Melty Kiss um, chocolate. So it's like a, I think it's like a Daifuku kind of a candy wherein there's like, you know, some flavored strawberries inside this um, square chocolate. Now, I actually love this and I buy this once in a while when I am there and they are actually individually wrapped, which is amazing. Oh, it has melted now. So I think I have to pop this in a rest. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I can't believe I'm eating candy um, early in the morning. Mm, too bad they're melted. So I'm gonna pop this into the refrigerator. But what I love about this is that it's really not that sweet. It's a little. It's even a little bit sour, which like, you know counteracts with the sweetness of the chocolate here. So I actually love this. And the reason why I buy this is because like you know I do have an IC card, which is an intelligent card in Japan, and I actually use that for like you know writing on. Uh, transport when I am there. So I just load money into that card. Now, I've discussed about this card like, um, in my videos before. And if I have any money left in that card, I actually like, you know, uh, exhaust the money out of that card by buying goodies from 7-Eleven because you can use that IC card to pay for like, you know, products in convenience stores. So in me saying that, I also purchased some of these bubble gums from my childhood. I used to eat this a lot, like, you know, because they were very, very cheap. And yes, they're actually very cheap. They're like, I don't know, 50 cents maybe in US dollars, like, you know, one pack of threes like this. Amazing. I love this. And the other products that I purchased from 7-Eleven just to exhaust the money from my IC card are these different flavors of Kit Kats. So I have one that's matcha, I have one that's in peach, and I have one that's in strawberries. And of course, the other things that I got from 7-Eleven is this Kalpis candy. So Kalpis is one of those like, you know, lactic drinks that I love in Japan. And I love it that they have it in candy form. And because like, you know, it just, a good like you know like a you know, reminder of my time in japan i keep this in my bag all the time anyway so those are the things that i got from the convenience store from the drug store and from the beauty stores okay now i'm moving on to um ah here from the duty free so i got this le cat omb from chanel and i was actually very surprised that the duty free shops at Haneda now were actually open beyond like you know 10 p.m. because my the flight that I take back here to the Philippines from Tokyo leaves at like you know one in the morning. So basically, um, when I enter like you know the free departure area, most of the duty free shops are already closed, especially that they have not like you know fully adjusted the times to when they were during like you know the pre-pandemic time. So I'm just so glad now that they're like you know open, and I decided to buy this quad from Chanel. And this is called 226 in Tisse Rivoli. Rivoli. Very nice colors here. I thought at first it was like, you know, browns. But if you just take a close look into the pants here, they have hints of purple and red in it. They're quite cool tones. Very, very nice color. I actually love it. And again, we have more new makeup products to play with. Now, the other thing that I bought at the Duty Free is actually this Vulgari um, Eau Te Blanc 
perfume. Now, this is one of my most favorite perfumes in the world ever. I have been wearing this since I was in college. So that was like, what? almost 20 years ago <laughs> so i love this scent and i actually have one bottle that i have been saving um upstairs and i'm very close to finishing it off and i have been wearing that for i don't know 10 years because i have been saving that because i could not find this here and what i love about this is that like you know look at that look how pretty the bottle is very nice frosted bottle it's in white it looks very very elegant and i love the scent of this because it's like um it has a very nice powdery scent it also has a very nice like, you know clean and fresh scent and like you know some white it has like white tea in it but it also has a hint of citrus in it and it also has some hints of florals in it which i actually love but the floral hints of this is not overly so that like you know i do have to say this is quite a unisex kind of a perfume but then again like you know our preferences for for, for perfume are actually very different but i love this and i'm just so glad that i decided to get this and i'm so glad that i saw this there because like, you know again as i've said i have been dying to find this perfume and i love it and also one thing by, with me by the way is that I don't buy a lot of perfumes, but I have favorite perfumes that I like, you know, stick with for years. And this is one of those perfumes. Now, the other perfume that I got, now this one I didn't get from Japan, but I'm just going to insert this here is because a friend of mine arrived from Paris. And as I've said in my um, travel haul, when I was in Europe, like, you know, in Spain, in Paris, I actually, like, you know, saw this at the Charles de Gaulle airport. And I was actually kicking myself why I didn't get it. And the perfume that I'm actually talking about is this Thierry Mugler Amen. Now, I love this. And the packaging is actually so amazing. So it has a rubber packaging here. But it has this very nice star inside and you can see this very nice blue color here of the liquid of the perfume now what i love about this is that to me the terry mugler amen perfume is very sexy and sensual and i use this like you know i use this every day basically but um like you know i just like the the sensual tones that it invokes in me and then i love like you know i love the tonka bean here i love the vanilla here i love like you know the musky scents here hi lover hi i'm talking to my friends can you give me five minutes okay say hi malena say hi here yeah, okay a little bit later okay so back to my terry mugler amen i love this and although this is a very nice like you know strong musky scent like you know it's actually perfect for like you know evening wear but um I actually like using this in the morning here in the Philippines because if I use any citrusy stuff, it's going to make me smell very sour at the end of the day, especially during the summer season. So during the summer season, this is actually my preferred perfume to use of choice. And also one other thing, by the way, with me, I actually like to mix and match my perfumes. And when I am finding that, like, you know, this perfume is just too sensual to wear in the morning, I actually mix in a little bit of this um, Bulgari Autoblan because they share similar notes and this just kind of like you know brings down the sensuality of this perfume a little bit and it just like you know makes it more mellow because the like you know powdery scent of this just like you know calms down like you know the strong notes of this perfume now, i can't remember the all of the notes of this like you know if i can find it i'm going to put it down on the description box okay and then if i want to be very fun with this perfume, I get my um, Clinique Happy for Men, which is a very citrusy scent. And then I mix that with this. And then, like, you know, it just gives it a very nice, fun vibe. And also, the same thing goes with this um, Bulgari Autobla. If I want to um, make this scent a little bit more, like, you know, playful and, like, you know, joyful, I use a little bit of my Clinique Happy for men with this mix it together and it just makes my day so i'm very happy that i finally 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 have these perfumes with me and like you know i have been looking for them for years especially this one this one oh my god love this love love love, love this super 
Okay, so um, that's basically all the makeup stuff and the skincare stuff and like, you know, the um, personal care stuff that I got when I was in Japan. And just to close out our vlog for today, I also have some new brushes that I got when I was there. But this one was given by a PR from Kuyudo and from Fude Beauty. Look at that. So I have this five-piece brush set from the Kakishi Buzome line of Kuyudo. Now I have just washed them, so they have just dried now. So I'm going to be planning to create a video for this. So again, if you are someone who loves Fude, please subscribe. I'm, I really do appreciate it. And of course, we have more brushes too. Um, I can look forward to be playing with on the video. Now, the other brush that I received um, via PR from Kuyudo and from Fuda Beauty is this Fupa 14 NEA. Yes, yeah, so I believe that's it. If I got the name wrong, I'm going to flash the correct name here. Again, very pretty. So oh, this is one of the revival brushes that Kuyudo has been like, you know, um, putting out this past few weeks. So I'm sure you guys, if you've been a fan of Kuyudo and if you've been a fan of Fuda, you, you would have seen right now that Kuyudo has been putting out a lot of new, like, you know, old favorites into the market. And I have to say, oh my God, it feels very, very soft. So amazing. I'm so glad that this dried down now because I actually washed these as soon as I arrived here in the Philippines. So we just have like, you know, new brushes to play with. And the final brush that, well, this one was my purchase. And this is so far the most expensive brush that I have in my collection. And it is actually a limited edition Sakura powder from Kuyudo. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So although right now I think this has been like, you know, out of stock in a lot of like, you know, the brush retailers like, you know, here um, that we all visit here on the internet, I'm sure one or two brushes is going to pop up from one of your favorite like, you know, retailers. So um, you really have to hunt this down. And the main reason why I'm very, very excited for this brush is actually the brush head here because it's made of Saibikoho goat hair. And this is my first Saibikoho goat hair ever in my collection and i love it oh my god you guys can see that it feels very very soft and very silky and just at the top of my head it's it can actually rival the silkiness and the softness of gray or blue squirrel brush heads all right so yes yeah, so again like you know please subscribe especially if you want to see me talk about like, you know these new brushes that i have in my collection because I'm gonna be making uh, like you know standalone videos for this um, in the next few days. All right. So yeah. So I believe that's my vlog for today. Um, thank you guys for dropping by. So if you have any more questions at all the products that I use today, please let me know down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it. And by the way, now that the neutralizer from the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind has like you know settled into my skin. It actually looks nice, and it actually did like you know brighten my under eye area, and I kind of love it. So at least that product. Where was that? This one is actually a very good buy for me um, right now. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye. Oh, and one other thing, guys. P.S. Postscript. I also actually got myself the Biore Biore U uh, body wash. I really love this. Um, I got this in Seven Eleven, and um, I first experienced this when I went to um, Hiroshima back in September, and I bought the travel version of this, like a very small um, travel size in a bottle. And when I tried it, I loved it, I enjoyed it. It kept my skin very nice and smooth, very hydrated, but I love the scent of this. And I'm glad that, like, you know, it comes in a, uh, this is a 350? Okay, so this is a 340 ml version that you can just, you know, refill into your pump bottles. And I found out after I bought two packs of this that they actually have a one liter pack that you can actually buy. But maybe next time. But for now, my two 340 ml BOTU body wash um, is going to be good for me. Okay, so that's basically it. That's all the things that I got when I went to Tokyo. All right, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.